Hello, this is Ben Kruger with Old School Manufacturing. Hey, I wanted to make a short video here concerning the overloading of your weed zapper system as indicated by the monitor. You know, I have a lot of people want to send me pictures of fields and say, is this overloaded or is this not overloaded? Is this too many weeds? But what I'm going to tell you is if your monitor says it's overloaded, it's overloaded. It doesn't matter what it looks like to you. This is what the system is seeing as far as how much output is being required from the system. So a couple different indicators here of this overloading is number one, we see that our generator temperatures are running pretty warm. We're seeing 250 and 251 degrees. Our amperage at this point, we are running a 16R30 model um, and we're running at 399 average amps, so our amperage bar is green. Our kill rate bar, which indicates our voltage level to the front bar, is in the green, so that's at a good kill rate. So if our system becomes overloaded, then typically one of the first things to happen is going to be our voltage is going to drop. So I'm going to make a couple of adjustments here just so you can see what happens when that voltage does drop. Okay, so right now we see that our kill rate bar is now yellow. This is an indicator, one of the first indicators that the system is overloaded. Our amperage is still about that same 399, but our kill rate bar, this means that for whatever reason, either the tractor is losing some RPM, or something's going on we cannot keep up so therefore our kill rate is now in the yellow i'm going to take our amperage up a little bit okay so now we see our amperage bar is also going in the yellow so this means that this is what i would call a moderate overload of the system when both are in the yellow this is probably not going to cause a lot of shutdowns but what you can see is browning of the plant where basically you're browning out the top of the plant instead of killing it all the way into the root system. If we continue to overload the bar, we're going to watch our kill rate screen, we see it go into red. This would indicate a very poor kill rate where you're just going to see browning out of the weed. You do notice that the system overload is coming on because the system is overloaded so much that our voltage is too low at this point. Now, if we continue on our amperage, which is the amount of load being put on the system, if we continue to load it heavier, we'll see it go to red as well. You notice that this number changes pretty slowly because this is an average amps, and this is a five, or excuse me, a 10 second average. So as we still keep on climbing up on our amperage over here, now we see it get into a red. And now we'll see a warning screen pop up for it. You'll notice that it is a red warning screen. So the blue warning screen is an indicator to the operator that you're going to see a reduced kill rate. This warning screen is a red warning screen. This will result in damaging the system eventually if ignored long enough. The other thing you're gonna see happen is when you continually ignore these two screens being overloaded, you're going to see your generator temperature changing. As that generator temperature climbs, you're going to see the indicator bar changing colors there. We're going to climb it up a little more. We're up to 285. At 300 degrees, we're going to get a shutdown. We're now disabled and we have a shutdown indicated by the monitor. We have to stop moving. So we say that it says hot generator. Driver must be in the seat. Wings must be on the ground. Generator RPMs over 1500 for 120 seconds until cool. So basically we're going to go ahead and acknowledge this and once again, this is an important one. Press and hold for one complete second. Now we see it counting down. We see that our generator RPM is at 1,710. This keeps the fan in our generator moving. 
Our generator temperature is down to 250 degrees, but we are still in a shutdown period to allow that generator to cool off more. 66 seconds, 67, this takes 120 seconds or two full minutes to cool down the system. You cannot bypass this. If you turn the monitor off, it will be waiting there for you. This will be satisfied before continuing operation. This is intended to try to save the life of the generator, transformer, and other electronic components. Powering off the monitor will not result in this screen being bypassed. Follow the instructions on the screen and be patient. It's 120 seconds. Once that is satisfied, it's going to take you back to your weed selection. This gives you the option to select a lower setting that will result in less heat being produced. That's why it goes back to this screen. So we're going to start zapping again. Let me make a couple of adjustments here. Okay, so our average amps, we are still overloaded. Our temperature is not too high, but our average amps, we are seeing a red light. Think about these colorings like a stoplight. Green, you're good. Yellow is caution. Red is bad. So we're going to turn up our amps just a little more here. And I'm going to show you another shutdown that can occur. So you see these changing. I set this to 650 amps. It's going to keep climbing up there. And eventually we're going to get a shutdown based upon amps. Okay, so now we have overloaded it so hard that now we have to count it down. Generator at 1500 RPM, that's indicated here and it has to go from 20 down to zero. The driver must remain in the seat and the wings must be in the down position. Okay, I have now satisfied that and now it's going to allow me to go back to zapping again. Once again, these indicators are designed to give you better results in your field with your kill rate indicator, better longevity of your unit with your average amps indicator and temperature indicators. This keeps you moving in the field and keeps you from having to stop and wait. I want to show you one more little thing here. This only happens at the end of the field. So you come out of your field, you hit your stop button, and at that point, let's just say your generator temperature is up to 285 degrees. Now it's telling you, you need to change your operation because your unit is getting too hot. So I hit my stop button to turn around at the end of my field. Now it will not allow me to start again until I cool that generator down below 255 degrees. It shows disabled. I can hit the start button. It's not going to change anything. It's over 255 degrees. Therefore, it will not allow me to start again until my generator temperature is down below 255 degrees. Once it's down below that, I can hit my start button and go back to zapping. I hope this helps a little bit. Thanks and have a blessed day.